Hello again my friends, as Rise of Iron draws ever closer, the hype intensifies and the news just keeps on rolling in, like the waves on a shore. But enough of the poetic metaphors, let's talk about the latest news goddammit. First up, this article from Polygon titled Why Destiny Year 3 Won't Be As Dry As Year 2. Thank fuck for that, in which Bungie's game director Chris Barrett talks about the kind of content we can expect in Year 3. Now, we all know about Festival of the Lost returning in October and introducing new Master Collect, and Sparrow Racing League returning in December, bigger and better than before, with brand new stuff to enjoy. But what lies beyond that in 2017? Well, Chris Barrett strongly hinted that old raids will eventually make a return. Here's what he said. It's always consistently been in the top 10 list. Since the second raid came out, we've heard the Destiny community tell us, hey Bungie, we want to go back and play older raids. The simple answer is it's a matter of priority. If we spend time bringing that old stuff forward, that means less new stuff we can build. For this fall, in Rise of Iron, we wanted new stuff. New, new, new. Let's give new places to go, a new raid, stuff like that. But we certainly hear the fans would love to have a reason to go back to some of the old raids, so we're absolutely considering it. Now guys, if you want my humble opinion on this, I think this indicates that we are definitely going to see a return of the old raids in 2017, so yeah, that's definitely something to look forward to. Next up, another article from Polygon. This one confirms that the hated trickle modifier, that's the one that slows down the regeneration of all players' abilities and supers, remains for Rise of Iron. Fucking bollocks. Next up, Rise of Iron's official launch trailer showed more gameplay from the new Wrath of the Machine raid. It looks fucking awesome, and I honestly, I cannot wait for this. And you want to know what my favourite part of the new footage is? Well, let's have a little look. The new raid gear glows in the dark. Yeah, I know it doesn't take too much to make me happy, but this did. I cannot wait for this shit. Bring it on. Next up, this tweet from Bungie's official help account. It announces that Destiny will be down for maintenance on September 15th for two hours. Now, you might want to pay close attention to this one. Bungie could be sneaking new gameplay elements into Destiny to get people hyped for Rise of Iron. Bungie has done this for past expansions, so don't be surprised if they do it again for this one. So, after the maintenance work is complete, keep your eyes peeled while patrolling. You may very well see a new Rise of Iron related public event, or something similar. I'll be sure to make a video about it if something does indeed drop. And guys, if you want a cheeky early tour of Fellwinter Peak, click this image or follow the link that you'll find in the description box below. I talk about all the new vendors and a few secrets too, definitely worth checking out. And guys, I've got so many Rise of Iron videos planned for you in the build up to the launch day and beyond. So if you're into that kind of thing, if you want to see some exclusive footage and some really cool stuff, subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications and you won't miss a single thing. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of this video thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe for daily destiny content and thank you so much for watching you beautiful bastards and as always her tee hee hee until next time guardians